I want to stick with the Lakers because I do want to get to Kyle Kuzma also. This is your beat. So what is the late, latest on Kuzma's status? Uh, the Lakers varsity team is off today, so he's going down to the JV to get a practice with the South Bay Lakers of the G League, which is certainly a, a good development. Everything has been going right for him the last several weeks. He went from four on four no contact to four on four contact. He's going through uh, full on sweat drills, sprinting up and down the court. You assume with that G League team, he will get five on five full contact, and he's going to be accompanying the Lakers on this road trip. Frank Vogel said it's a possibility he plays on it. They have Dallas, then San Antonio, then Chicago. I'm not anticipating him playing in Dallas, but the next two games I think is certainly a possibility. Richard, he keeps saying when people talk to him about his recovery, he says, I've been working on this summer and into this recovery the things that the Lakers need. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm ready to fill sort of those holes that are there. What do you see him doing in that respect? Well, I, I just want to see his percentages from three go up, right? I think he's been a volume scorer when they were a young team and they were like, we need people to score. Uh, and he was one of the guys that can kind of shoot and do a lot of things, could run the floor, could finish. So I think in this space, he's going to get a ton of open shots if he shoots 35 37 we're not even talking about in the 40s if he shoots 37 percent from three with all the shots now that Anthony Davis is going to create from a double with all the bigs that they have down there and just the problems on the offensive glass and the offensive rebounds you get the kick out LeBron James what he does in the pick and roll if he shoots 38 percent from three and you combine that with all of his other abilities with Anthony Davis and with LeBron James now we're talking about a team that is in a position to win a lot of games and win a championship if they can get past the Clippers. He's also got to be tenacious on the defensive side, too. To me, when he talks about filling in holes, that's something where if they can get really strong D at that position, then it's going to make a difference. And, and some playmaking, I think. It, late in the regular season last year, obviously those games didn't matter, but he was working on his playmaking. And I think you're going to see him playing a lot of the being the primary playmaker with the second unit right. and then being a part of the closing unit for, for this group. And so... I'm with you. If he doesn't bring the defensive end, then the, the defense part, I, I'm not saying he's limited by any means, but look at the position that he would have to guard defensively, right? Like the position, if you're going to say the three, because you're going to, if, if Braun is going to guard like a small, like a, a three and D guy, right? Then that means he's going to have to be guarding the Giannis's, the, like, is he, you're not going to put him on a James Harden because you got, you got, um, you know, Bradley, you have uh, KCP, you have, you know, guys, Danny Green, you have guys that can play those defensive spot so like defensively it'd be more team defense so like if he does those things yes but I don't think he's going to step up and be like this elite defender all of a sudden I mean look Danny Green obviously has a lot of experience defending the James Hardens of the world Avery Bradley hasn't shown those numbers since he left Boston basically yeah. we'll have to see if he can step into that position I think they'd like to see some of it from Kuz though wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Team defense is as important as individual defense. Um, we'd mentioned at the top of the show that Trey Young went down with a right ankle sprain in the second quarter against the Heat last night. Now, at this time, the Hawks are listing him as day to day. There's optimism he can return early next week. Didn't even need an MRI today, so looked worse than it has turned out to be, which is great news. Um, but still, Richard, do you trust the Hawks to stay afloat for these few games while Trey recovers? Because he was such a focal point of their team in these early going. No, I don't <laughs> trust them because they haven't shown me anything that the reason why they got Trey Young is because they weren't a very good team and they got a high draft pick. And Trey Young has been great, played 81 games for them last year. So he's shown health and everything that they do is built around him, right? We saw what happened with the Lakers and all of their talent once LeBron James and and um, and Rondo went out. So yeah, you're going to have injury. Hopefully this is only like a week and he can get back. But he's a, he was a conference player player of the week. Yeah. So like he's doing everything for him. Scores, assists. They still have talent on their team. I just don't see them playing a uh, three and two over five games without him. Yeah, but it might not be like five games. Yeah. Look at the schedule. It, it's kind of soft in terms of actually the uh, amount of games they right. have coming up. I think it's only one game in the like, next six days or something like that. They'll be them. fine. So <laughs> they'll, they'll be fine. And then you still have guys like John Collins who's coming in through right. his own. Uh, Herder, who, who we all like. And, um, you know, they, and Lloyd Pierce gets those guys to play hard. Right. Yeah. They do face the heat again. Um, you know, it was interesting to see in the first quarter and a half last night while he was playing, Spolstra sent a double Anytime he touched the ball, there was no more room for him in the same way. And he was still scoring, so obviously he knows how to <laughs> handle it. But I think his atten the attention he's going to get this season has already escalated from game one to game three or four that they were playing last We year. all need him back. We all want to watch him. He's so fun. He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he's so fun. What I, one thing I really have liked about him, and we saw it um, when he had some trouble at Oklahoma, and then we saw it again when sort of he had some trouble at the beginning of his rookie season, he adjusts. He sort of he understands there's a learning curve. He is mature enough 
right, to take things that are difficult and deal with them. Um, we've seen players not able to do that when they come into the NBA. Uh, so just like this, as you mentioned, he was healthy all last season. Even if he has to adjust to this ankle as he comes back from it, I think he'll be just fine. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.